Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how you can add the power of visual in Power BI and consume this in Power BI service. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. In my previous video we discussed about, about the Power Apps and then how you can create a new app in Power Apps. Now in this video we are going to integrate that app into our Power BI. So the same file I have connected here, the Google Sheet Excel file here, in a table here. Now in order to add the Power App Visual, on the visualization pane you can just click here Power Apps for Power BI. Once you click that, it will give this option here. Let me zoom a little bit here. Now what it is saying is do more with your data by adding apps to your reports and dashboards. So how to get started? Step 1. Select the field from your data set that you would like to use in your app. Add an existing app to your report or create a new one. And then save and publish your app in Power Apps to see it updated in your report. Share it so others can access the app as well. So first of all, you need to use the same field we have to drag and drop over here. So I'm just trying to take the trans date here. First the type. So once you drag and drop here, you have two options here. One is you can choose your app or you can create a new. You can also directly create from here as well. As we already made this on, so I'm going to select the choose app. So I got these two options here, personal expenses and personal expenses here. Okay, first we'll go back and try to create a new one. This is how it actually looks like. So once you click on that, it is going to browser in Power App Studio. You just click OK. It is trying to create everything the same thing which we have developed in our previous video. So in order to avoid that, I'm going to use the existing one. So cancel this and try to add a new visual here in this page. And then I'm going to select an existing one. So drag and drop the type field here. And I'm going to select the choose app. So personal expense 2 is the app which we have created in our previous video I'm going to select here and then click on add so save your app in power app studio to finalize the data connections it's already there right so either you can skip this one because the data connection is already there I don't want to change that so click skip here as you can see we got the list of values here now if you want to open up here you can click here it will give the list here Now there's a message here, share this app from app, share this app from Power Apps to others, can view it in Power BI. To do so, select more options, edit and then Power App Studio, select file and share. So in order to view others, this same app in the Power BI service, you have to share the Power BI file as well and then the Power App as well in Power App Studio. That's what it is saying here. So closing this message. Now if I want to add something new here, so click here, plus sign, and then I'm going to add an amount here. Remarks is for room is 0202 20, 21, and it's for travel. So click commit now, save. So it is added here in the bottom of the page but in the grid it will not add because we need to refresh the data in order to affect here. So let's click on the refresh here. I think it is coming from a different excel file. So let's try to connect a different one. So I'm going to let's go to google sheet and then try to connect that file. So personal expense 2 here. I think it's coming from personal expense 1. So this one is new added here. 
So I'm going to connect it here. File, file, and then publish to web. A link here. Click on publish. Okay. And then you can copy this link here. So close and go to Power BI. Take data from web. So click on this link, paste this link, and click OK. So clicking on table one and then click on transform data because I need to edit few things here. So remove this one and remove the blanks here. Make the first row as header. That's it. Now personal expenses real to so close and apply so it is added here so let's add a new table and then i want to add the type here and the amount and then the trans date let it be date here yeah that's it as you can see there are five values here let me increase the font size text size and to increase it to 20 yeah, I think this is enough. Now I want to change this triple light to some other value. So clicking here and then click on edit. Instead of triple light, I want to change it to triple three. So click commit now. It is saving this file. Yeah, go back here. Now it is changed from triple eight to triple three here. So still it is not changed value here. Let's refresh this data. Let's refresh this one. Personal expense real. Triple light. If you look at this file in Google Sheet, it's triple three here. But it is not changed here. So let's refresh again. Now let's try this again. I want to edit this triple three. The same thing. I want to edit this one to something like triple nine. So click save. It is taking longer than the expected time. As you can see, the value is updated here in Google Sheet. So in the desktop as well, you go back here, the value is changed to triple nine here at the bottom. So now the table is not changed here, it's still triple three. I want to refresh this one now. Click refresh. Yeah, I think it is taking a bit time to update from Google Drive to Power BI. So that's why now the values change here. Now let's see in Power BI service. The Power Apps has the latest value, whereas the grid is not it has the latest value. So let's click here. File. And then publish to web. Yeah, it is there actually. Automatically publish when changes are made. It's entire document itself. As a web page, there's, everything is correct here. So let's try with this one again. The data storage connection. So the gateway is on. Yeah, it's running here. Is map to Google Drive Excel and then click apply. So going back again, then refresh now. So open this report in a new tab. Yeah, if you look at this one, a new row has been added here. Let's try the other way. So it is triple one, right? So I'm going to edit this one instead of triple one. I'm going to add this one test one triple line. So click commit here. This updated here one triple line. So it is still here, right? So I'm going to refresh this one now. Refresh is 751. But in Power Apps is actually working. Whereas in order to update in Power BI, it is taking a bit time. This one has to change to one triple line. Clicking on refresh now. Still, 
it is taking time so let's try again after few minutes let's have a look at the excel file one triple nine value is updated there or not yeah it is there into four pa surveys and refreshing the data set yeah refresh again so refreshing the visuals finally i think it's taking two or five minutes in order to update the data set from google drive so these are you can able to add the power up visual in power bi and you can use the full power of power apps inside the power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video